Video games imitate sports is what I just said, but I had to make it clear because I'm making a YouTube video. And they have been doing so for a long time now, imitating almost every sport there is, even sports that aren't sports. But not all video game sports are created equally, and going into it, it can be hard to tell which ones are worth your time, and which ones are much like this video. A complete waste of time. So I, being well versed in both video games and in sports, am the perfect candidate to break down these video game adaptations of these athletic endeavors. Join me, Blurbs, as we create the definitive video game sports tier list. Skateboarding and biking were just added to the Olympics, which means yes, I can put them on this list, and I can also say that they're better than volleyball. Biking shows up in all extreme sports games where it is represented as a downhill mountain bike adventure, either against the clock or a million other little daredevils. While skateboarding is a little trick fest for fun points, both are incredibly entertaining in their representations. For biking, Lonely Mountains Downhill and Riders Republic really evoke that feeling of, oh shit, I'm going downhill very fast. And for skateboarding, the Tony Hawk games really evoke that feeling of, haha, <laughs> cool. Both are fun experiences in their own right and honestly should have been separate on this list, but I'm lazy and I wanted to use this picture of Tony Hawk. Watch Tony go to the A tier. Bowling, because who do you think you are? I am. That was a, that was a reference to a meme. Um, if you didn't get it, then this is a little awkward. And if you did get it, this is still a little awkward. Bowling is more than just a sport, it's also a firing range in the dreams game Bowling with Guns. But I digress. Bowling has been afforded a spot on this list purely due to its prolific nature throughout Nintendo sports games, which opt out of using guns, which is kind of lame. Bowling is a thrilling video game experience where you, you guessed it, throw a ball down a lane. The satisfaction of nailing a strike with your real arm's motion is top tier. And also shooting pins with a gun is pretty cool too, so bowling receives a respectable B tier placement. Soccer, also known as not American football, is a game about kicking a ball into a net, and in real life is incredibly boring, but its simplicity makes it perfect for video games. All sorts of games opt to throw soccer into the mix, because why not? Well, I'll tell you why. Because of microtransactions. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Because soccer is always a fun and competitive time, from Fall Guys to FIFA, running up and down the field frantically trying to score a goal is enjoyable even for a hater like me. So go ahead and put it in the A tier. A as in the A in goal, is in the word goal. The, it's the third letter in the word goal. In a flavorless world, one sport emerges from the ashes with the purpose of purging the monotony of our everyday lives, and that sport is golf. Yes the golf that you were thinking of. While playing and watching golf in real life might be the biggest chore imaginable, video game golf is so incredibly good that I get the desire to play golf in real life, and then I beeline a ball into the water and go right back to virtual golf. There is just such an intense satisfaction from watching a putt sink into the hole or chipping a ball right next to the pin that I can't be helped but be hooked, from indie games like Golf Story to AAA experiences like PGA 2021. This feeling is unmatched and puts golf in the top tier of video game sports which is the S tier. Hey you, if you're such a volleyball fan, go ahead and name every volleyball video game ever created. I'm waiting. Since you probably couldn't think of any, I'll tell you. Spike Volleyball and Fall Guys. That's it. Neither of which make me say, ooh, volleyball, but I'm not going to dock volleyball on the merit of low representation, so I will be kind and put it in the F tier. It should be thankful to be on this list at all. While American football, no, not that one. That one might have the largest men, it does not have the largest pool of games to play from. As in the present day, EA's Madden sits alone atop a throne that no one cares about. Madden is a somewhat complex game that is decently fun if you know the intricacies of American football, but this barrier of entry excludes many, and puts the sport firmly in the C tier. C, as in career-ending concussion. Speaking of sweaty man-on-man -man action, boxing is a sport seen very rarely throughout video games, with Wii Boxing and Punch-Out leading the charge, and also leading with the left Gotcha. Neither of these are mechanically deep, and matching the endurance and power of a real fight can be difficult, so boxing games usually total out to be a pretty bland time. But my experience with a beautiful game called Rocky, yeah, like the movie, puts boxing in the C tier. While my short stature and lack of athletic ability withhold me from doing anything cool on a basketball court even just once, I do still respect its quality and entertainment as a sport. But as a video game, basketball sucks. It is an RNG fest as every play feels like a dice roll, and I hate dice, ew. Leaving things to chance is great in real life, I like to take my chances with ticks. But in video games, it's kind of annoying. Both NBA 2K and the EA version of it that no one plays are competent at being incompetent. Making bad 
basketball a kind of cringe experience, so put it in put it in that F tier. As in it sucks and I hate it. Put it down there, I hate that crap, get it out of here. Lastly, tennis. I think tennis is a pretty fun time both in real life and in video games, but sadly the D tier lies dormant. And I'm gonna have to put tennis in the B tier because it's a pretty fun time. It has a lot of strategy as you try to get your opponent to get out of place, allowing you to smack the ball to the opposite corner of them, or in the case of Mario Tennis, the same corner as them, daring to break one of their precious rackets in a war of attrition, because as we all know, Mario is a war criminal. All right, that's my list. I hope you found it mildly interesting because if you didn't, I will cry. Hey look, it's me, John without a hat. While John cries, let me tell you about our new shirts. We have new shirts available over on the Teespring website uh, with the new logo on it. Um, you should go purchase one if you want to support the channel. Alright, back to, back to John crying. <laughs>